hi guys, later here. So you're probably wondering what the intro was all about. Well, I'm gonna jump right into it. The Fantasy Star Online Remake Project was essentially cancelled, but wait, don't leave just yet. That work has been repurposed and is now being used to create a custom PSOBB client. And in fact, there's a bit of work done on that already. The links to those open source repositories will be in the description. So, to reduce scope and to utilize the large, vast um, amount of members in the PSO community with PSO domain knowledge for Fantasy Star Online Blueburst, as well as just general PSO protocol packets, etc., uh, I've decided to move the project in a different direction with similar goals, similar outcomes, and hopefully similar, similar quality. So a lot, of you be, a lot of you guys have been probably wondering what's been going on with PSO, so that's what's going on. Um, there was a lot of work done on the PSO Remake project up until about a week or two ago, and now it's now a lot of work's being done on the Fantasy Star Online PSO BB custom client. And I'm working with Soli already, he's a very talented reverse engineer, has a lot of domain specific knowledge for PSO, and we put together something in Unity that already works. Yeah, so we have already have something connecting to public PSO BB servers. In fact, servers we don't even control in this demo, it's going to be another public server. So I'll go ahead and show you that that's the case, so just going to try to log in real quick. And so we don't have anything visually set up. I just want to show you that this project's getting along. Things are happening. So we get a bunch of messages. We'll get a username or password's incorrect. Let's go ahead and try to log in. So this is actually utilizing a technology that I built for World of Warcraft emulation. And I think that a lot of the work done for World of Warcraft, at least for the packets, is already being taken advantage of and will be taken advantage of going forward. And a lot of the work done for the network client here that you see working, World of War the World of Warcraft project is going to take advantage of that. And in fact, I think I'm going to package that as GladNet 3. I think it's finally found its niche as an emulation network client. Uh, and I think. I think this could be expanded to other projects such as PSU, whether it's a server client or PSO2. Eventually, get around to PSO2. I thought it was a good game. I don't have any knowledge of that. I don't. I don't know if I've ever told you guys. I'm not a reverse engineer. I build things in specification. I think I'm good at that. Um. And so yeah, if you want to check out the repositories, you know, I've got a lot of ideas going on in my head. You know, see what what happens. Uh, there's there's some work you can check out the packets. There's some documentation. We only have the patching packets. Yeah, we actually have a patcher. I, I guess I uh, I can't really run that. I don't have it open right now. But it doesn't actually patch. It just gets like patch notes. And that's actually a WPF application. You can see it in here. It's called the launcher. So yeah. Um. Yeah. So Fantasy Star Online. Or sorry, PSOBB custom client. It's gonna run alongside public servers. So you'll be able to play on your current server that you're playing on. You'll be able to use the PSOBB client wherever you want. And that's that's phase one, which will probably take a long time. A year, maybe two years, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I don't know. I can't I can't make many promises. Every time I make a promise, uh, I, I tend to break it, I guess. But that that's software. Not just me. And yeah, so also for the first time ever, we have this exact client that you just saw me run is available open source. You can download it right now, run it in Unity, and uh, we're going to be pushing out builds all the time for that. We're always going to keep a build available, although I don't think many people have use for it, but internally people have use for it. I'm looking for more contributors with PSO domain knowledge. If you're a reverse engineer, you know, I would love contributions. In fact, I've accepted a considerable amount of commits and pull requests from Soli already. We go back a few days. Yep, 
yeah, you can see there's quite a few packets. Pretty, it's pretty uh, collaborative already, so I welcome everyone to contribute. I think this is going to be the right way to go forward. I, I really think a reduction of scope uh, in utilizing the talents in the PSO community already is going to be the best thing to do. And if you don't think so, well, go ahead and leave me a comment. I know some of you guys had asked me to actually work on something like this, and now I am. So you guys are probably happy, but if you think this is the wrong move, uh, go ahead and let me know why. I mean, maybe it is, maybe it's not. I, I'm not sure, honestly. It's, it seems the easier move. And with game development being so difficult, I think that's a good move. But yeah, so um, I'm going to try to keep you guys updated when... You know, there's something interesting to update you about, so I'll see you in the next update video. Thanks for watching.